Made my way out to the bee yard just because I couldn't help myself. 18 degrees and calm. And the bees are flying. The reason why we're not doing any bee work right now is, well, even though it's 18 degrees, whoa, look at that. I think they like it. The reason why we're not doing any bee work today whew, is because 18 degrees right now and they're calling for severe weather coming through. Wind. Snow. Cold. Oh, these bees, settle down. They're not happy with me today. Maybe they're sensing this low pressure is coming through. 18 degrees now, it's supposed to be minus eight tonight with a high of minus eight tomorrow. Oh, I'm gonna have to find shelter. They're usually not this aggressive. Minus 15 tomorrow night. Ah! And then looking at the end of the week, we're gonna get into some stability. Don't have my smoker on me, nor do I have any gloves. <laughs> Tempted to go down into one of these colonies just to see where the uh, the nest is at. A week ago, I went down and I was looking at you know a frame of brood, nice frame of brood, in fact. I was looking at developed larvae on the outside of that and then eggs stretched out beside that so three to four frames this is the bigger colonies three to four frames of developed brood I'm not sure with all this cold weather whether or not that brood nest has been pulled back I anticipate it has because they were getting nice weather to be able to bring in the, the inflow like this and then it abruptly stopped with cold. I'm just going to take this in. Boy, they're sure cranky. I think it's the change of systems. We were extremely windy last night. 
and extremely windy this morning and now it's dead calm and 18 degrees. This is as warm as it's been so far this spring. And we are anticipating cold, terrible cold coming through the next couple days with winds up to 90 clicks. So I think the bees are just, just in that mood saying, what the hell, seriously. As they go crazy on the supplement I put out for them, The entire top tray was filled right up this well yesterday. We just about got it done. This is the same intensity that the bees have on that prepared product. So I think you know I think they like this. It's one of those spectacles in the spring that I just absolutely admire. Ever fun. There's a little bit into my open syrup feeder. Not taking it as aggressively. Boy, there's demand on protein. I'm gonna have to get some more of this protein out. Beautiful brood nest, nice and tight, well developed. We have larvae all the way around the outside. Same on this side, egg stretched out. Same on this side. Solid brood frame with uh, mature larvae all the way around. Comparing, wow, look at that. There's the queen there. entire frame is laid right out, filled with eggs. So want to see his eggs. Beautiful brood pattern on this side. Now this colony has, there is a developing brood, uh, larvae on around the outside. This colony does not have any patties on them.
Nice patch of brood. Rimmed with mature larvae. Rimmed with eggs. Nice little patch of brood. That's a nice little clean. She's not overly ambitious. Storms are brewing. Just on the horizon, you can hear the wind just starting to shear over top of us. Hey, just going through my yards, making sure that all the tops are on. It was pretty windy last night. No tops off so far. Just putting corks in and entrances just to do a little housekeeping before the storm rolls through. And I found my first case of drifting. Textbook. Obviously, pretty big colonies. Maybe they're big to begin with. At the end of a row, you know, kind of set up. Food's over there, wind's coming this way. Maybe the bees, when they fly back and forth, they get disorientated and they smell. Some real nice queens in the inch here. I bet you this is a nice queen in that box. And they all gravitate to the outside on the end of the row. That's the problem with setting them out so close and in rows like this because they get disorientated. I haven't seen any of it so far, of all the activity within the last day, two days, except for there. So that's telling me that I have to maybe get busy and provide a little bit of a reprieve on these yards and pull some hives out just to help them find their way back. For the most part, everything's finding their way back quite orderly. Everything, when I tip the boxes back, everything stays consistent. Ooh, and look at that. This yard just fell silent. Hardly any by the feeder. When I came into this yard, this was almost black full of bees. Now it's empty. It's probably because of that. There she is. Button down the hatches. It's gonna be a windy one.